EA Sports. It's in the game. Welcome to EA Sports, live coverage of this friendly. Today it's Real Madrid against Norwich City. Nice, sunny conditions today. So without further ado, we're off to the Bernabeu. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello everybody, I'm Martin Tyler. Alongside me, the familiar voice of Alan Smith. Yeah, this should be a cracker today, really looking forward to it. There's a little bit of edge in any professional football match, isn't there? The teams lining up for what we call a friendly but you'd be very surprised if there isn't a tackle or two in it well i think so and uh, what they will play with is a great deal of freedom and that can quite often lead to a really entertaining match i've got a bit of a personal recollection about norwich city and i went to university in norwich and uh, learned the words of on the ball city uh, watched a few of their games uh, got treated uh, playing for the university team when i got injured at carrow road so they were very kind to us university lads all those years ago uh, and it's good to see them uh, uh, at the top level of English football. It is, I mean, because they're kind of stuck out on their own in Norfolk. It, it feels like a journey when, when you go there and uh, a little bit different. It's a peaceful way of life in Norfolk. And sometimes that works against them as a football club. You, need, you know, you need to retain that edge, but they've managed to do that. And uh, that's courtesy of some good management in my book. Asha Zurheide is today's referee. Ricky Van Bolstenkel. Well, he slipped his man. Good, strong tackle. Well, he has got some support to his right. It's offside, and the referee's given it. his uh, approach and got the ball he's controlling the play here his teammates just borrow the ball for a few moments and then give it back to the main man Sergio Ramos he committed himself here there wasn't much cover but he got the ball the defender in the wide position Mesut Ozil Benzema. On the attack here. The cross coming in now. In towards Urzil. Now that cross has only gone straight to an opponent. Alexander Tete. Well, this could be a formality for Real Madrid. I think even the opposition are applauding that one, that back heel. And it's a 
presented to the player by the opposition. Ricky Van Volswinkel. Javi Alonso got the tackle in. Ricky Van Volstenkel. That's really well done. Good defending. And Ronaldo. There's some potential in this move. Promising build-up until that challenge. Possession regained. Almost in the nick of time, really. Benzema. Pass off. John Bruddy in goal. Alexander Tete. And the offside stops the play. Flag went up. Referee blue. Such a difficult decision to make for these assistants, but I think this guy is getting it right far more often than not. And he's flagged again. Yeah, and when you've got some pacey strikers like this side have, sometimes it can look way offside I mean he's got it right in the end and we've got the chance to watch it on replay three or four times but fair play to him Javi Alonso a top pass of this boy and he's on the ball now Javi Alonso Benzema the threat here, but he keeps the ball. Alexander Tete. Thomas Snodgrass. What a chance here. It's a heading chance now. He might be needed again, the goalkeeper. by the referee. Well, the defender panicking there, he just got the ball away. Well, that is half-time, and the score is nil-nil here. It is half-time here, and it's not so much to talk about during the interval. One of two sides that it might get better. Well, yeah, I hope so, and the supporters, the fans, they hope so as well. Not a lot to get bums off seats in that first uh, half, but uh, we will hope for more. So we've reached half-time and the game is scoreless. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the match. Here in the Bernabeu, we're underway in the second half. Alexander Tete. Now Johnson. Challenge and the ball broke free. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. We might look back at the end of the match at this decision one way or another. The scores are level, and only comes to try and tilt the game his team's way.
Gary Alonso. Looking good with this attack. Chance for it. Oh, he's going to shoot now. He's got that and cleared the ball away and saved his side from a, a difficult situation. Which is in both the dugouts want to make a change. You'll see the new players getting ready. Javi Alonso. Cristiano Ronaldo. Sammy Kadira. Arbeloa. Well, here comes a substitution for the away team. Pilkington. Interception made, but then a great difficulty. Crisp defending there. It's Cristiano Ronaldo to take the corner. But well, we're going to have a change now. And the manager trying something different in the hopes of getting his team in front. Getting into an advanced position, Cristiano Ronaldo. Angel Di Maria. That is a tackle and a half. Garrido. available on the bench for the away side today. Sergio Ramos. Modric. The player hasn't had to move very far to get that ball. Stephen Whitaker. Referees played the advantage here. Norwich tried to take advantage of that decision. The interceptor has got the ball here. Now, Javi Alonso, Karim Benzema. He could lay it off to the supporting player. Out for a throw and uh, over the touchline. to show their hands with their substitutions. Both managers are going to do this. Basson. Now Almander. attempt to go for the ball I think he's a little unlucky slightly mistimed and these man's made the most of it two minds which way to go. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. The crowd uh, maybe expected a bit more, but two added minutes. Benzema. It's a good-looking attack, this one. It might be a final attack as they look for this equaliser. Well, the referee has blown his whistle and the game has ended 1-0. This is why we love the game, because anything is possible. That's no consolation to the favourites who lost the game they were expected to win. But 
is just a remarkable upset. It is. I just wonder when the favourites came into this game believing they were going to win, and they, they took it easy. Certainly the underdogs didn't. They were full value for this win. So it's full time with a final score 1-0. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.